Hey guys, what's going on? So today, this morning, we're gonna be tearing down this CP4, this Bosch CP4 injection pump. Came out of a 2016 Chevrolet 3500 with a 6.6 Duramax. And this pump failed, sending metal through the fuel system, requiring an entire fuel system replacement. Injectors, rails, flushing all the lines, scrubbing the tank, whole nine yards. So we're gonna tear this pump down this morning and see exactly why it failed. So do me a favor, share this video, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, as always, throw them down in the comments. Let me get you set up and then we're gonna tear, tear this pump down. First thing we're gonna do, I'll pull these heads off so we can get the plungers out. And these are basically a cylinder head. There's a plunger piston inside each one of these. There's a camshaft basically that runs down the middle like a crankshaft. But we're going to get these pulled off, get the plungers out, and then we'll work on getting the camshaft out of the middle and we'll see where our failure point was. Plug. Got those out, got those plugged out real quick. Pull this fuel pressure regulator out of here. So this is a fuel pressure regulator. This will probably be full of metal shavings. Yep. You can see all the metal on the regulator itself. That's no go. Let's get these heads off. So we get to the plungers. Because it's hard to tell. Yep, I need a picture of that too. There's metal. There we go. A little bit of spring pressure there. Now we're going to lift this directly off. There's our spring, our plunger. Whoop. Definitely have some more metal shavings down in there. And they should freely slide out. They're not. We don't have to worry about damage because this pump is there's no core on it, it's just a junker now. He's in there tight. Well, that'd be our issue. So there is the bottom of the piston. You can see the galling. This roller rides in there. You can see how how badly galled up that is. That rollers the same way. I'm sure our camshaft is probably the camshaft is not in any better shape. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. That one came right out. Same thing here. You can see the wear. See the wear on the inside. See the wear on the roller, that should be nice and shiny. <clears throat> now we'll go about getting the, see if we can pull the camshaft out. Which I'm gonna say is probably gonna require removal of the front of the pump. That's your fuel temperature sending unit. Okay, 
there's the back side with the gears. Presumably to lubricate the pump. There's the drive. That should be the back side of the camshaft. Yep. Okay. So, there is, that is basically your crankshaft out of the pump. There are the two lobes, very similar to a camshaft. This should be nice and shiny, but due to poor lubrication, it has gotten galled and all scored up, and all that metal went through the rest of the fuel system. Okay, so looking in it from this side, you can see all the metal down here in the bottom of the pump. There's the camshaft. There's a better look at your fuel pressure regulator. There's the port for the fuel pressure regulator. Now you should be able to see all the metal shavings that are down in there. Those are basically your cylinders, for lack of a better term. Get you some more light there. There we go. Cylinders. There's another shot down there that I got the light on. A little bit better look in there. So, and as you can see, these rollers, these are supposed to be nice and clean because these ride on that. They should all be nice and shiny. Clean machine surface, same thing here. So, that's where all the metal came from that went through the fuel system. So guys, that's what uh, the internals of a CP4 injection pump look like. Um, all torn apart. There's the pump case. And of course the gear and the nut are down there. But that's what it looks like when they're torn apart and that's why they fail. Uh, poor lubrication, lack of lubrication. These rollers just finally ate the, ate the cam and got enough metal through the fuel system that this truck quit running, was towed in, and had to replace the fuel pump, pressure regulator, all the injectors, all the fuel rails, flush out all the fuel lines, scrub out the fuel tank, and we did add a lift pump to help make sure that there's always plenty of good clean fuel pushed up to the pump. So, thanks for watching guys, please share this. Um, questions, drop them down in the comments. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next one.